And I'm wondering how big you think the chances are of reaching longevity escape velocity in 50 years. And if you think it is possible in that time frame, how the uh, roadmap towards that would uh, look like. Mm -hmm. Right. So I, in the beginning of, of part three of, of my book, I talk about what does the future look like? Let's do a little math and add up theoretically what could happen over the next 50 to 100 years. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I wouldn't call myself a, an immortalist, uh, mainly because I'm, I'm so busy every day trying to just get, get things practically done. Um, but I do, I do dream a bit in the book about what, what I think will unfold over the coming years. Um, what's, what so I, I changed my view during the writing of the book. And that's because there was a big discovery in my lab. We've been able to reprogram uh, a mouse's eye and save it from blindness to um, treat glaucoma and actually dramatically reverse the, the epigenetic clock, the so-called Horvath clock and restore youth. Until that data came in, even with rapamycin and other molecules that we work on, metformin, enamin, that there was no way we were gonna make it uh, to 120 on average. It's already extremely difficult to extend human average lifespan and maximum by just a couple of years. Uh, we're doing it slowly, but, it, but it's, what we need is a, a quantum leap in, uh, in our understanding and abilities. And that's what I think we've had. Uh, and I've seen a lot in my career. And uh, Wan Cheng Lu is the student who made the breakthrough in my lab. Collaborators include um, uh, Ji Gang He and Bruce um, Cassandra here at Harvard. And uh, that changed my view. Do I know if we're going to hit escape velocity? I can't say. Um, and I, I, I won't say. But I, I do project um, increasing lifespans and perhaps dramatic ones if we're able to get these new uh, reprogramming uh, therapies to work in people. And I hope to start the first safety trial with that technology in about two years. Um, I'm working with Juan Carlos Belmonte from the Salk Institute, who's a probably will win a Nobel Prize for this, um, Stephen Horvath, who developed the clock, and myself, uh, and a fourth person, uh, Manuel Serrano, who also works on this and discovered P16, the senescence. Uh, inducing gene. Um, so that's the update. Uh, hopefully that gives you enough uh, background and uh, entices you to read up uh, about it more. <laughs>